знаю свое дело, мое дело Стрелять, чтобы пуля попала Hey everybody, here I am in Moscow, Russia. I'm uh, on Arbat Street. Actually, this is old Arbat Street. Uh, there's two Arbats. There's old and new. And so this is, uh, well, this is the old one. It has old architecture and, uh, well, you can just tell the old and the new. Uh, the next street over is new Arbat and it has like old Soviet architecture and stuff like that. So, but anyways, let's check out old Arbat. All right. And yes, this is a big tourist trap. Everything is triple price here. <laughs> a lot of musicians. And a lot of street food, like right there, donors, kebabs, shawarmas. And a lot of souvenir shops selling their crap. So, but it's a cool place just to kind of walk around if you're bored here in Moscow. Arbat Street is okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Arbat Street is definitely okay. <laughs> you got a lot of souvenir shops, a lot of restaurants, cafes, coffee shops. And like I said, they're all double, triple, quadruple the price. And here's a place called Grable. And right here, the best. Best Russian dishes, I agree. Grable has really good Russian dish, uh, dishes. So yes, I do agree with that. So, it's another, it's another, uh, well, I, I shouldn't say it's another nice day. Uh, this summer has been really cold, uh, rainy and cool, but uh, yeah, I can't really, really remember the last time we had a day like this. It's actually warm, and here we go right here, here's Krispy Kreme, yes. And yes, I go in there. I like Krispy Kreme. And there's KFC right over there. And a lot of just food places. So. I do hang out here every once in a while. Some of my friends, they like uh, a couple of the uh, the bars around here. Whoa, yeah, in, in Russia, they don't freaking stop for you, you jackass. Yeah. If you visit Russia, yeah, when you're crossing the street, um, cars come first, people come second, they will run your ass over. They are terrible drivers. He actually looked at me, but kept going. He saw me, he looked at me, and he actually accelerated. Because cars come first in Russia. Pedestrians come second, and if you get hit, that's your fault.
I swear to God, that's the way it is here, not just in Moscow, but in Russia. Anyways, so if you look at the architecture, it's like, you know, 100, 200 years ago kind of architecture. another nice day <laughs> once again I shouldn't say another but uh, oh. I love Moscow when it's like this when it's warm but not hot and there's a nice breeze And then here's California Diner, right here. Yes, I've been inside. And it's all like California Diner crap all inside. So, right there, California Diner and Bar. So, it's actually kind of a cool place. A little expensive, but, but kind of cool. And then you have right here. Right here you have Duncan. Right there. Duncan and then donuts. Right there, Duncan Donuts. And straight ahead, there are a lot of cameras. A lot of people and a lot of cameras. Somebody's doing something and there's so many people, I cannot see what's going on. So I'm going to put out my camera and see what's going on. Okay, I have no idea who that was, but like I said, a lot of people were uh, looking at him and smiling and with their camera, <laughs> with their cameras. So I'm sure I'll find out who it is sometime in the future. Anyways, so let's keep cruising down Arbat.
And down these small little alleys, you'll have like cool little places like this. Like cool little uh, houses and stuff. Old Russian architecture from like I said, like 100, 150 years ago. Here's some more old Russian architecture. And here's the famous fountain with like, I guess, Alexander Pushkin's girlfriend or wife or whatever. I think that's what the story is. Not really sure. Yes, lots of people are looking at me because I'm, uh, I guess I really look like an American <laughs> with my Tom Brady New England Patriots jersey on and I guess I don't know my style, my, my look, whatever, but lots of people are looking at me, but it's okay. I, I'm actually kind of used to it. I've been to Moscow for five years now, so I'm actually kind of used to it. So over here is like some sort of graffiti wall. And it's uh, kind of like a memorial to some famous uh, Russian uh, singer from a while ago, like 20 years ago or something like that. We're coming to the end of Old Arbat Street. Ah, oh, what a nice day. And that's why you don't wear white. <laughs> White pants. <laughs> With like a like a thong. <laughs> uh, anyways. Unless you want to show off your panties, then okay, then yeah, you do wear it. And more. If you like Starbucks, there's like the third Starbucks here in Arbat. Russian fast food right there, Teramok. It's actually pretty good, Teramok. I like it. I go there a lot. And lots and lots of souvenir shops. Okay, one of my favorite bars is over here, Eric the Red. It's a good uh, craft. Well, no, it's a bar, but they have a, a big selection of craft beers. So right here, Eric the Red. I have a video of this place. So. And right next door, Shake Shack. Right there, Shake Shack. So you go to Shake Shack, get a tasty hamburger, then you cruise right next door to Eric the Red. I did that a lot 
a couple years ago. Not so much anymore. Got kind of burned out on both places. Plus the Shake Shack here is expensive. Some more souvenirs selling their crap. And of course, there's just no way you can walk down Arbat any day and not see Russian princesses taking, taking selfies of themselves. It's just impossible to walk down Arbat and not see Russian princesses taking selfies. It's impossible. Okay, Hard Rock Cafe, Moscow. Almost got hit again by that jackass. Almost knocked it, my camera right out of my hand. And so here's the Hard Rock Cafe, Moscow. Oh, it's hot. I'm gonna sit in the shade for, well, stand in the shade for a second. Okay, so the Hard Rock. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, if you're a foreigner and you wanna hook up with a Russian uh, chick, you come here. Pretty much any day of the week. Uh, yeah, that, that's it, really, that's it. Um, foreigner, come here, and it's 100% guarantee you will meet a Russian chick inside. And it doesn't matter if you're ugly, you just come here and you will hook up. And it's guaranteed. So, with that said, let's move on. This jackass right there. Once again, more souvenirs. And so here on Old Arbat, there's a lot of Pushkin, uh, like statues and plaques around here because, well, he lived here for, for a time. And here's a statue of Pushkin. I'm not gonna walk near that because there's lots of Chinese people. And so we're coming to the end. And actually, this is this is a decent day to walk to walk Arbat. There's not, I mean, there's how can I say this? Like today, yeah, there's a lot of people, but there there are days when there's like like a million people on this freaking street, and you just you just stay away from the street. Okay, so that's it. So, there's one of the Seven Sisters right there. And then there's McDonald's right here. And then you're at the end of Old Arbat. And that's it. And the metro station over here is Smolenskaya. So, if you want to walk through Arbat, old Arbat, then you go to Smolenskaya metro station or or Arbat. Arbatskaya metro station. Ah, oh, now this warm day, it's turned to a hot day. Whew. Yeah, it's into a very hot day today. <laughs> okay, anyway, so right around the corner here is Smolenskaya Metro Station. And there's the Metro Station right there. And I just want to show you a couple of the things. Over here is a cool bar. 
Been here a couple times. Walk through this little alleyway. Right here. So, John Bull uh, Pub, the John Bull Pub, right there. So, that is a cool place to have a drink. Right there. And the White Rabbit Restaurant, the most expensive restaurant in Russia. Sweet. So Smolenskaya Metro right there. And then just in case you'd like to visit the White Rabbit, it's right up there. It's right up there. The White Rabbit Restaurant. Okay, so anyways, that was Old Arbat, and New Arbat is just right over, right over there. I'm not going to make, make a video of uh, New Arbat, but uh, anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, it's probably Russia's most famous street, pedestrian street, so anyways, alright, I'm going to chill out here for a while. Bye.